Oh, hey guys. Fancy you dropping by. Real nice of you. We're just here, hanging out. On the beach. I'm it. It's one of the few like warm days we've had in a while. I don't have chill bumps on my legs. You do, you got the little yeah. chill bumps. Yeah, he's wearing thermals. So I'm, yeah, I've got thermals on under my pants. It's really warm mm -hmm. right now. I'm nice and comfy. And we've got our members only jackets. Shout out to the, to the club. Remember, got just got this jacket. He said, "The member of what?" I get uh, the no club jacket or something like that. <laughs> no club jacket, and then I got my own, and now I'm a member as well. Yeah, so now he gets it. Thrift store finds. Mm -hmm. We should make these our vegan jackets. Up with some patches on them. Mine's got yeah. some tears in it, so that'd be cool. Yeah, you need the patches. I do. They call me. Kind of like in perfect condition. It is. And it was a child's jacket. Mm. Just. Our main goal for our channel is going to be to help facilitate people who are already vegan to get active because I know for me personally it took me over a year of being vegan before I felt like confident enough in my vegan voice mm -hmm. to feel like I could be an effective activist. Be proud and of yourself. Part of that was because I stumbled across James Aspie mm -hmm. and he was the first person who made me feel like I could utilize uh, my authentic voice mm -hmm. and my activism mm -hmm. and have that be impactful and effective. Mm -hmm. We're all drawn to different forms for a reason, mm -hmm. which is one of the big reasons the Cuba Truth like struck me the way it did. Um, every part of that <laughs> resonated with me and just it made so much sense. And saw James Aspie at a cube, him and Earthling Ed for sure. Mm -hmm. So I could help even one person feel like they can utilize their voice, they can go make a difference for animals, then I would feel like this channel was totally successful. Absolutely. People are like professionals too, you know, where their their um, their job or their employment status is directly correlated with, you know, their extracurricular activities. Well then this is something that allows them to, you know, still speak their truth, participate but in an anonymous fashion. Help animals, we want to help people make connections between um, the choices they're making on a daily basis and the cruelty and violence that's sort of hidden away or buried underneath those decisions to help get people active. Um, but then we also want to um, help just provide some educational resources um, as far as like nutrition is concerned. Mm -hmm. We're both about to start studying nutrition mm -hmm. and it's something we're already passionate about. For the health aspect, so exercise and physical, um, we're into pro yoga, partner yoga, calisthenics, mm -hmm. um, you know, body weight exercise. It's partially just going to be a lifestyle channel, you know, mm -hmm. the videos like this where we're just talking in sort of stream of consciousness. But part of that is to um, illuminate basically how ordinary, um, potentially mundane mm -hmm. um, a vegan lifestyle is. I think there's another um, you know, false perception associated with veganism is it just you know, flips your world upside down. Mm -hmm. And in the many regards it does, but your day to day is gonna be the same. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're the same people. Like I think you stay you, life stays normal. Um, Cause that can be a barrier. Like we did activism the other day and we were offering free cookies if you <laughs> watched a virtual reality video. Mm -hmm. And it was really shocking how many people walked up and were like, wait, how can they be vegan? They're cookies. Like, I mean, it seems like, I mean, it almost blows your mind, but mm -hmm. for some people, they just have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. Like, <laughs> they were just probably from the dollar store or Walmart. Yeah, they were like a store just, brand you know, cookie. Mm -hmm. You know, there was nothing for that. What? How are these vegan? Yeah. Um, another funny story we have from a similar outreach experience was uh, we were showing virtual reality experiences and it has, you know, the vegan outreach, all that kind of stuff. So this <laughs> guy walks up and he's like, hey. so this is about vegans? Yeah, is this about vegans? Oh. Life of like an animal. And he's like, oh, never mind. Like, I didn't want that. Like, so we're just like wondering, what did he want? Did he want like he a virtual experience of like being a vegan? You know, like walking around <laughs> and telling your waiter to leave off like, you know, like animal products? Is that what he wanted? Going or, to the store yeah, and like yeah, slightly, slightly shifting just, just grabbing that one instead. Milk. I mean, we can do that. I'll make a virtual reality experience of that. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, so we just sort of wanted to spell a lot of the rumors and stigma and misconception all associated in the atmosphere around veganism, the current climate around mm -hmm. <laughs> the V word, because um, it 
it's not extreme it's pretty normal yes. it's it pretty much falls in line with basically i feel like, feel like people even if you're eating animals you kind of like treat yourself as if you're vegan you know like you're like oh I'm, i wouldn't hurt animals mm-hmm. i would never harm mm-hmm. an animal mm-hmm. like you know yeah, so that's, that's, really what, that's what i mean by normal it yeah. falls pretty good in line with you know a lot of things you already feel yeah and think and believe your just behaviors line up I, yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's not like you have to start going to like vegan meetings on a weekly basis and you know go through this 12 step program and then unless like, you want a jacket yeah unless you unless you then you have to join vegans anonymous um and we teach you the handshake yeah. it's a 12 step program and then you get a jacket yeah so not to be confused with the vegan cult which right is this you have to be invited you have to, yeah that's a whole different thing there's it's obviously robes mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> pretty cold right now i know it's really pretty but the sky is super gray which is the lighting's good for us yeah yeah um but i'm wearing shorts i don't know if you can see my chill bones i don't have any pants on we're probably not going to talk out here too much longer but we did kind of want to show you guys you know we're going to do more videos like these just um in our community in our area because it's so beautiful why not Mm -hmm. we don't want to always be inside that's not really what we like to do yeah anyways so since this is work that we get to sort of choose and do it on our own schedule, it's like we can pick our office too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the office today. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll uh, catch you yeah. at the next location. Uh, thanks for tuning in at the oceanfront. Yeah. And Thank uh, you. yeah, we'll see you soon. It's good. It's got paprika in it. <laughs>